All right, a lot of comments out there about AT&T right now because the stock is actually back down to a level it has not seen since 1992. The stock is around $12 a share. Traded $12 a share in 1992. And people are saying you've invested in this company for 30 years and have no capital gains. And that's actually not entirely true. So if you look at the total dividends amounts that have been kicked out, it's kicked out $45 in dividends over that period of time. So it's almost two times what the stock price is in dividends. Plus with the spin out of Warner Brothers several years ago, you would have received shares in that company that currently is public traded stock as well. So just focusing on price, I think it's short-sighted. You got to count the dividends and also the stock splits and other assets you were given while you held the stock for 30 years, even though that price is the same as it was.